Shabbat Shalom, family. On the morning of November 2nd, 2024, I woke up from a dream that I felt an urgency to share. So here's the dream. In the dream, there were people who had just survived a terrible storm, although many hadn't made it, many died. Because of that, many of the survivors were running around to Sam's Club and to other wholesale clubs and hardware stores to try to reinforce their homes and to make themselves ready physically. They were buying tornado shelters and generators and things that they thought would protect them from the hurricanes and storms and would keep them from being blown away. I was frantically trying to tell people that this stuff wouldn't work, that they needed more that they needed to turn to the Most High Yahuwah for protection. But nobody was listening. And at the end of the dream, everyone was filled with this ominous foreboding that something was coming, and they were just nervously wishing that their earthly preparations would just do the trick for them. But I knew that they wouldn't work. And that's when I woke up. I didn't see anything after that. I prayed about this dream. And there were a few reflections the Father gave me. People have a tendency to prepare for the storm that has just passed. There are wildfires going on right now. Tornadoes are striking all over right now. There's flooding that's hitting places weeks after the hurricanes hit. And hurricanes have now killed tens of thousands of people in the U.S., People are starting to take action, but it's the wrong kind of action. They aren't seeking the Father's face. They are doubling down on earthly preparations. They aren't fasting and repenting. They aren't halting their unaliving of black people under mysterious circumstances in sundown towns and elsewhere in places like Houston. And they're not stopping how they turn a blind eye and deaf ears to such unrighteous acts. In other words, even when they're not doing it themselves, the fact that these things are happening, they don't really bother them that much. They are at ease in Zion. You see, people today aren't trying to repair the people who generated more than $50 trillion of free wealth for the building of their precious country. They aren't stopping their lies. And they aren't turning from their other sins either. They are not collectively and en masse seeking the Most High Yahuwah. Instead, they're actually doubling down on evil. Listen to what Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6 say. Trust in Yahuwah with all thine heart, And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. But people aren't doing any of this. They don't seek him. Instead, they're seeking a generic God who is comfortable with their sins and their hatred and disdain for the true Israelites. Their God leads them to promote political candidates who are evil and who openly mock the true God of the Bible. This is true for both Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, for both Jill Stein and Cornel West, the licensed minister. None of them fully and truly promotes the Most High's interests in the world. And none of the people around us are actually getting prepared for the true storm that has begun to hit America. Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton were both warnings. They were spiritual alarm clocks going off to tell people to wake up and seek the Elohim of Scripture while he may be found and to call upon him while he is near. But people aren't heeding the Most High's warnings. So the time has come for true devastation to start destroying the nations. But even as the Father ratchets up the intensity of the calamities, people's hearts 
are hardened and they won't repent. No mass spiritual awakening is coming to this nation or any other nation. To the contrary, the mass of men have hardened hearts. They don't see because they can't see. They don't see because they won't see. And the hour of Yahuwah's judgment has come. Those of you who want to be delivered from the plagues, put away your high places, your agreement with evil, your willingness to go along with things that displease the Most High Yahuwah. Turn from your sins and live. Stop putting everyone's interests above the interests of the Most High. Stop worrying about offending the people, the flesh and blood men and women around you more than you worry about offending the Most High. Repentance is the only way. Mourn over the things that you do that show how much you hate Him and His ways. Open the Bible and read it. Beg Him, cry out to Him to speak to you and to spare you. Agonize over your sins and turn from them. Follow his voice and bless the true children of Yasharel, the true children of Israel, the descendants of the slave trades. Turn off the media, the movies and music and sports and social media that clog your head and hearts like a clogged toilet and actually listen to his voice and not the voices of devils lying to you and tricking you and speaking peace, peace, when there is no peace. Stop investing yourself in lying men and women, teaching you to live your best life now, as if the judgment is not on its way imminently, standing right at the door. You can't get ready for spiritual warfare with physical means. No amount of prepping will do it. No amount of guns and ammo will save you. No amount of stocking up on food will save you. Just ask the people who watched as their houses floated away. Where is all their prepping now? Turn to Him and live. Father in heaven, raise up a people who are called by your name, upon whose foreheads your name is stamped, and who love you and live for you alone. Gather your people from the east and the west, and from the north and the south, and allow us to be accounted worthy to escape the judgments that are to come. In Yahusha's holy name, so be it. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Peace to the Yasharel of Elohim. Be blessed, saints.